Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller from 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Classmates mourn the loss of their two friends. Luke Malinick and Lauren Taggart died last night in Clarence. State police say Malinick lost control of his vehicle, went off the road and hit a tree. They believe high speed was a factor in the crash. Gas prices have now hit a new record in western New York. AAA says the average price in the Buffalo Niagara region is $4.30 a gallon. That breaks the old record set in 2008. The average price across the country is a record high of 417. The city of Buffalo is ramping up its search for more lifeguards. City leaders say they need 100 people to stand guard at Buffalo's 10 public pools this summer. Right now, they say they are well short with only 22 lifeguards on staff. St. Bonaventure University has a new leader. They have named Dr. Jeff Gingrich their 22nd president. He comes to St. Bonaventure from the University of Scranton. He will take over full time on June 21st, replacing Dennis DePiro. Dr. DePiro passed away last year. Now let's check in with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski with our forecast. Well, here we go into Wednesday, a winter weather advisory for Potter County in, uh, in Pennsylvania from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. on Wednesday. As we look at this hour by hour, those snow showers coming in near the state line and reaching up to about uh, the Erie County and also Wyoming County line into tomorrow morning. The potential to see a little bit of a rain snow mix near Buffalo is there. However, much of this is going to be a little further south to the Boston Hills in Wyoming County and then off to the east by the time we head into the evening, leaving our Thursday under partly sunny skies. As for how much snow we're going to see, about two to four inches in Potter County, one to two elsewhere through western New York, the southern tier of western New York, I should say. And then we're going to see colder temperatures as we turn the clocks ahead Saturday to Sunday.